Adrian, where's the frustration level as you sit here today? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously frustrated. Uh, obviously not the end we wanted. Uh, on the other side of it, I think uh, we were a better team this year than we were last year. Uh, obviously, last year we took them to game seven, uh, not this year, but we felt like we still were a better team. I think we played better overall in the series. Uh, it was some really tight games. I think the two home games that we that we lose here was two of the games that we probably should have won when we were the better team. But uh, yeah, right now I'm still uh, you know frustrated that we didn't make it through. Uh, but yeah, I come back uh, stronger and better next year. Adrian, obviously tough to kind of focus on individual success 12 hours after getting bounced out of the playoffs. But you led the team in points and goals. Did this feel like maybe a message to the league that you are that kind of player in this league? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get better every day when I'm out there. Uh, ever since maybe my breakout season last year, you know, uh, I was, uh, had a lot of expectations coming into this year to try to just prove myself to be that I can do it again. And uh, obviously, uh, just want to try to go out there and win every game. And uh, yeah, obviously, couldn't pull through in the playoffs, so that's obviously a little frustrating. But I don't know. Yeah, overall, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, had a pretty, pretty solid year. Adrian, um, uh, Kofi just said that uh, he says that he, you're, you're not just the scorer, that it felt like this year you really took a huge step toward being a complete player. Is that, that is that a takeaway that you have that you have in terms of this year and being that? I mean, that's nice to hear from, you know, one of the better players in the league. And, uh, you know, he, he makes me uh, – a really good player out there and he's helped me along the way so I mean I think that's a good thing too uh, obviously uh, uh, I wanted to play better in the playoffs this year than I felt like I did last year I felt like last year maybe I had one or two games where I was really good and the other games I was not really on the level that I wanted to be uh, I felt like this year I tried to be as competitive as I could uh, every game and uh, felt like I uh, you know played pretty well in the games too, obviously uh, <clears throat> not good enough, but um, yeah, it's nice to hear from, from a player like that. Adrian, you talked about the team being a better team this year. Where did the team grow and where does it need to go to get to the next step? Uh, I just felt like we, you know, the gap was closer this year to, you know, Edmonton, they were better this year too than they were last year and I think uh, we showed in all the games that they were all tight games. Uh, last year, you know, we obviously won three games, but the, the games that we didn't win, you know, I felt like they, we, we weren't really that close to, to winning those games. Uh, this year, you know, we, there was uh, three OT games, I think, and, uh, you know, there's a couple of goals every every game that, that beat us. So, I mean, it's, uh, I felt like overall our team game was, uh, was better. Uh, special team was a lot better this year, obviously, power play. Uh, PK maybe didn't take uh, the, the step in the same direction as the power play did, but I think the power play really helped us. And uh, you know, we got some players at the beginning of the year that really contributed and, uh, and played well. And obviously, if we, I think if we had the full healthy lineup in the beginning of the series, I think uh, it would have been different. You said that you, you thought that the two home games that you lost games that you guys should have won. What, what was the difference? What was the reason? Why didn't you win those games? Uh, I, mean, I felt like those two games, obviously the first one, game four, I think it was, we were up 3 nothing. That's a game where uh, we got to close, I feel like. Uh, obviously, some of the lucky bounces here and there, but uh, I felt like we were confident enough to, to win those games. And, you know, it comes down to the really small details. Uh, last night, too, you know, I think we were the better team in the third period. Uh, we're pushing, pushing, coming back, and then you know, it, all it takes is uh, it's one shot, and then uh, you're down and goal again. So I mean, I think, yeah, uh, yeah, we gave up five goals both games, uh, so that's probably why why we didn't win. But I think uh, overall that we played good and aggressive enough to to win those games. Hey John, you have a leader for this team. Is it enjoyable? You talk to us more now. You're more out front. Is it? been a nice process to now be one of these leaders on this team. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Obviously, I'm getting older too, so I have more experience and, uh, you know, I'm not the youngest guy on the team anymore, so I mean, I think uh, 
uh, with that, I have to, you know, take that kind of next step in my leadership role too. And you know, uh, Kobe and Dewey, these guys, they're not going to be around forever. So I mean, someone has to try to step up and you know, fill those shoes, which is which is hard because uh, you know, with everything they've done for for this organization. But I'm just trying to still learn from them, and you know, slowly and and in the locker room and on the ice, just try to you know become more of a leader and. Uh, Just kind of a two-parter. Uh, you talked about pushing yourself uh, in the off-season to, to get better with your shot, to improve in the playoffs, that sort of thing. So, what are you looking to do now like, to take the next step in your game? And uh, part and parcel for that, what has Todd done for your development in these last four seasons since he's come into the organization? Uh, you know, Todd's been great uh, ever since he came. Obviously, uh, <laughs> being in my career, you know, there was a lot of coaching changes, a lot of different systems playing. So, I'm always there. That was. Uh, Kind of hard to just uh, settle into what kind of system we're playing. Uh, ever since Todd came, he's been pretty straightforward with how he wants us to play, and uh, you know maybe it took me a little while before I kind of actually figured it out. But I think uh, you know now I'm in a good spot, and he was really helping along the way, which I'm really happy for. Uh, <coughs> on the other hand, I think in, in the off season now, you know just trying to keep working on things that I've been working on the last couple of summers. Uh, you know, obviously, keep trying to work on my shot as much as I can. Uh, you know, work on some. Uh, obviously, got to go back and reflect on the season where I think I could have done more. Maybe where I think I could have scored more goals, maybe in and around the net and stuff like that. So, try to work on that. And uh, but haven't really, uh, you know, looked back at what what uh, what I can improve so far. So uh, I'm just gonna come uh, with some time. I think. Edmonton is not going, they're a young team. They're, you probably will face them in the playoffs in the years to come. What has to happen? What has to change to be able to beat the Oilers instead of sitting here the day after feeling frustrated? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, they, they definitely, they, I mean, they have the best power player in the league, and they're saying uh, they have the best player, the best power play in, in the history of the. So, so I mean that's that's uh, it's hard to be obviously I think uh, uh, five oh five I think uh, yeah I mean I haven't I haven't really looked back at the series so far to, to see what we can could have done better uh, it's a really tight series uh, like I said if we were full healthy and getting the series I think it would have been a different story but um, yeah right now. Uh, just got to regroup and uh, try to come back uh, better next year.